despite being late to the party, there was a Nintendo Direct in February, and it sure existed, because it wasn't really a Nintendo Direct. Look, it was a partner showcase. Does anyone really care about these? Kinda, kinda not. I need a video to make, and I talk about Nintendo stuff. <laughs> and we'll be going in chronological order. The first thing is the Epic Mickey Remake Remaster thing. I don't have much to say. This game is neat. I recall having it as a kid. Um, cool. I don't know, I don't have much to say, I'll be honest. Most of this Direct is gonna be like that, that's why I skipped over like five games. And I don't really want to comment on a game I don't have much to say about, especially if I don't remember. But since it's a remaster, um, if you want to know, if you should buy it, go watch someone else's review after this video. So SMG5! I'm gonna be honest, I was late to watch the Direct, I was busy the day it released, but I did see this. And look, I want Persona 6. I'm a Persona fan, but I also really like SMT5, but also Atlas, did you need to release three, three freaking RPGs this year? Is SMT5 Vengeance an enhanced version of the original game, like Persona 5 Royal and many, many other games before it? Yes. Is it coming to new systems? Yes. Will I pick it up? Honestly, probably. I enjoy SMT5, and I honestly have actually been considering to replay it. Only got one of the endings from the first playthrough, and there's definitely still more I can get. Will I pick it up on Switch? Honestly, no. It's on other things. And the Switch holds every single game it has ever had on it back. But it looks like a really interesting expansion that seems to effectively be Hey, while you were busy dealing with the main plot of SMT5, crap happened in the real world! I think there's a lot of new potential, there seems to be a new party member. It looks like it will be interesting. It does suck, it will probably once again be the full price for a game. Which, little side note Atlas, if you want to port it to new systems and only have Vengeance, go ahead. Why not make it like a $20, $30 DLC? on the Nintendo Switch for those who already bought SMT5. And then you can just bundle it for the full price together as Vengeance. It's not a new take, and honestly, it might end up making you money because some people aren't gonna pick this game up because they played the original, they liked the original, not enough to buy a new copy. Which is, I think, most people who played SMT5. This looks interesting, and I am excited to play it, and I probably will play it at some point. Will I play it at launch? Probably not, because it shares a release date with something else. That something else will get its own video in a future date. It's Elden Ring! And at long last, a new Monkey Ball game where the characters look like they're in preschool. Like, I can't be the only one who sees it, right? Like, they all look like they're four. And my general thoughts on this at the moment are pretty well, I can't comment. Uh, the Monkey Ball games are kind of always over the place in quality. I'd have to wait to see how it is when it releases. I literally get the demo and I can answer those questions for myself. But also, not sure how I feel about the spin dash. Sega, we sure are stealing from someone, aren't we? Anyway, Penny's big breakaway. This is a game that, when it was revealed in the last Direct, looked pretty cool. It looks fun. It's out now. It's on Steam. I would appreciate being able to try it out for myself, but I can't. It's one of those cases where this is a game I will probably play at some point. It genuinely looks fun. It looks like a fun, classic-style 3D collect-a-thon platformer. And I intend to give it a shot whenever... It mostly goes on sale, let's be honest. Okay, so I missed this when I was skimming through the Direct, but what the hell is this Demon Slayer Rhythm game? Which is extra insane, considering it's blinking you miss it for a pretty large IP. Considering I'm someone who missed it! And lastly, there's a demo coming out slash is out, I don't know, for Unicorn Overlord, which I'll probably try out at some point. It looks interesting. But I think it says something about the Direct when Arlo, a great content creator, threw in 
the Elden Ring DLC into the Direct video. Which, for clarification, fair. He runs a Nintendo channel, he really likes Elden Ring, he's gonna want to talk about it, that's a good place to put it in. But also, that says something when there isn't enough content in a Direct to warrant its own full video to itself. It also doesn't help that I'm pretty sure Elden Ring announcing its DLC release date on the same day overshadows the entire Direct. <laughs> Hell, you can even see it in the length of this video, and the fact I haven't done a subplot. Subscribe, it helps out the channel a lot. I normally do that in the middle of the video. This is the end of the video.